Hey everybody, Adam Guthrie here, the founder of I Feel Good magazine. And I'm super excited today because I have somebody with us that wasn't too healthy only a year and a half ago. This guy had type 2 diabetes, he was overweight, he had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and after eating a whole food plant-based diet, he is no longer diabetic. His blood pressure has come down to normal ranges, his cholesterol has dropped into healthy ranges, and he's feeling super good and he lost a heap of weight. This person is Trevor Birkbeck. Trevor, how you doing? Good, thanks. Uh, Adam, yeah, pretty good. And yourself? Yeah, I'm doing really well. Feeling fit that's and healthy. Good. That's what happens when we eat plants, that's right? good. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> right on. So, Trevor, you know, tell us a bit about um, what life was like for you. Actually, if you want to, I know that, um, you know, you've had a good innings. What sort of age are you? I'm, I'm 70. I'll be um, 71 this year. In six 71, years, 71 years of age and so you've had you've had a pretty good life and tell me what was life like for you when you were younger growing up in regards to what you ate and then how did you develop how do you think you developed this type 2 diabetes over the years well I, yeah well, as a as a kid growing up and a on a uh, just an, the ordinary standard uh, Australian diet, just uh, uh, plenty of milk because uh, my parents have a dairy farm, so they we had plenty of milk and, and that sort of stuff. And uh, the um, you know the sausages and bread, plenty of bread. You know, you know, my my dad used to say, you know, uh, you know, if you're hungry, son, fill up on bread. You know that's that was the that was the saying because you know back in those days it went you know it, it was it, it was a struggle to you know feed a, a large family and I was I was a, uh, a family of eleven so you know so we all sat around the table so you know we had to uh, family of eleven eleven are you the yeah, oldest or the youngest? No, I'm the third youngest. Yeah. Wow. The third youngest. Yep, yep. Wow, you must have yeah, had a big so, house. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 I don't know. I used to have to sleep with my brother or something like that. It wasn't, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was good. It was a great family life, anyhow. You know, we all, you know, we enjoyed it, anyhow. And, uh, so and, and not only that, when you, when you don't know any difference, you know, you, you, you know, that, that's life and that's it. That's what it is. And uh, and mum and dad did the best they can, and and they did a well, great job, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So did you? Um did you help out milking cows, getting up at 4 a.m.? And... Yeah, it did help a bit, you know, but I uh, didn't get up at 4 a.m., no. So it, uh, no, my, we, we lived in, 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 in the, uh, the town proper and the house, there's another house out there and I had an auntie and so forth, lived out. My father used to drive out there every day, you know, and so forth to the farm and, and come mm. back. So we weren't called upon to really milk the cows, but, you know, only when we went out there to weekends or or, or something like that. Yeah. And whereabouts do you live? Like, was that? Where was that? That was in wow. uh, Central yeah. Queensland, Rock, Rockhampton. Ah, you're up there in Rocky. Okay, so that's um, yeah. they had dairy farms up there. I thought that was all beef cattle country. Yeah, well, I was just saying on the road that we lived on it was Belmont Road, and there was uh, there was ten dairy farms along that road. But because back in those days, well. Every little town had a, you know, they well, I don't know, but they had a uh, a dairy there because you know otherwise you'd have to transport it miles and miles to get it. But today, well, with our transportation and so forth, you know, with that you don't need it. It wasn't ideal dairy country, you know, mm. but uh, it's more 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 suited to beef now, as you say. True. So you grew up like just eating the typical Aussie. Um, Cuisine, <laughs> meat and three veg and bread. Yeah. And um, so you yeah. know, as you as you as you grew up, what did your diet stay the same, or were you ever interested in health? And at what point did you develop know that you had type two diabetes? Yeah, well, uh, I would say about the the diet. You know, I suppose as as uh, you know, I. 
got married, you know, and got a job and, and the finances increase, I think your type of food you eat, the uh, so-called improves or goes backwards, one of the two. But um, the uh, so I was uh, I felt pretty pretty uh, fit and uh, I felt, felt all right, and but I was I started to fail about it was two two thousand and. And one it was, and uh, I went to the doctor and doctor and did the usual tests, and uh, it come back that I was type two diabetic. So yeah, so then it, then it all started. That was a bit of a shock to me, but I shouldn't have been because few of my family have have you know, and grandparents have uh, are di- were diabetic. Yeah. Okay, so it was in your so family. Um, it's interesting. A lot of people talk about the genes um, causing. Yeah, well, it, just, they yeah. ate. You was causing theirs, and then you were eating similar things, and yeah, I think it's an interesting thing there because you know my family, yeah, as I just said, the family and the grandparents put me, you know, I got one, two, three, four, five, maybe five of the eleven that I, you know, had di- with diabetes, diabetes, yeah, diabetic, mm-hmm. yeah, type two diabetes, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and I was going down the same path. Adam, I was going down the same track, you know. Well, I was. I was, I was on type 2 diabetic and, uh, yeah, that come a bit of a sh- – shouldn't have come a bit of a shock to me, but it did, you know. I said, ah, oh, geez, because I, you know, I looked at my family and, and the history and I ah, oh, going down this slippery slide, you know, here, you know. Uh, you know, it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm in for it too. So, yeah, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, a real good uh, feeling to have. No, so that was um. So you were about fifty then, in twenty years ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, two thousand one. Yeah, oh, yeah, fifty-two or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm forty-nine. So yeah. you're about my age that you discovered. So what was um the symptoms and what was your body like? Were you overweight? And what sort of foods were you eating around that time? Yeah, I was. I was over overweight. I think I would have been about. You know, ninety-five kgs about that at that time, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, and I was eating, yeah, I was eating, you know, my steaks and my eggs and bacon and having a few beers and doing the what the what we most of us do back in you know before you find out that you know that's not good for you. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, it's not good for you, man. That's, no, as you know, right. because look, you know, Trevor. Imagine Trevor at ninety-five kilos. Trevor, how much do you weigh today? I'm. Uh, I've measured myself today, sixty-eight kilo, kilograms. Yeah, so I'm at my BMI. He's yep. in his BMI, a healthy range. Look at him. He looks trim. He looks fit. He looks amazing for seventy, man. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. so yeah. when you're doctor, well, I, feel, I, I feel good too. Yeah, yeah, you, you feel good totally. Yeah. So when your doctor told you that you had type two diabetes, what did they recommend you do about it? Well, they just sent me um, go on medication straight away. I uh, went to uh, a dietitian uh, and a, uh, a diabetic educator. So that's where I went, and they taught me that I got to go on this such and such a diet, and uh, and, uh, and 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 prick my finger every, you know, the, you buy some gear to, to monitor yourself, and uh, with by pricking your finger and getting a blood sample, you know, when I, whenever I wanted to, uh, and uh, and tried to uh, uh, adhere to a diet that they recommended, and um, and you go on medication. Mm. So, what was the diet they recommended you? Well, yeah, I, I, I had this thing. I was just a you know a hand sized piece of meat and a, and a uh, you know and, and eat bread. You can eat bread, but don't make sure it's um, full grain bread and uh, uh, you know and eat some of the you know, the rices and uh, but for my, you know a fair bit of veggies. But you know back back down on the on the meat supply, but. Uh, uh, but that's about, that was that was about it, you know. So it was totally in their way of thinking they were going to help, well, to control the diabetes by by medication and uh, and help it along with trying to back off on a bit of the stuffs that are causing it. And sh- you know, eating sugar, sugar, sugary things and things things like Did that. You eat a lot of sugary processed foods. 
yeah, I did. I yeah, I love me ice cream and you know and and and, and cakes and buns and you know the, the normal stuff and uh, uh, yeah, I, I used to have a fair bit of that sort of stuff and me, me, me you know, me lunch was sandwiches and you know and plenty of you know butter and you know and cheeses and so forth, you know that, that sort of stuff, you know. So uh, yep. So you that know that was the diet. That was the diet. And did you stick to that? Hey, did you stick to the diet that they recommended? Yeah, yeah. That that's uh, I I've reflected on that just recently. You know, I I don't think I, uh, you know, it, you know. Well, it, it, there's the alcohol uh, uh, side of the, the coin too. You know, I still uh, drank me. I still drank me beer. You know, and uh, and, I, and that's no good either. So. Uh, and they said, I think when you go to diabetic educator, they say, you know, you've got to back off on this and back off. No one really actually were telling you, hang on, you've got to stop this, you've got to stop that, you stop that if you if you really want to get on top of this. And, uh, yeah, so, yep. That's so, you, so you just, did you adopt it or you just ignored it and just kept pricking uh, your finger? Uh, it, 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 well, yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it was hard, you know, because it was a change of lifestyle and, you know, and as you and, – and, and everything's, you know, in that lifestyle, you know, surrounding social life and, you know, uh, and so forth and you went out and having people aren't going to cater for you and, you know, same as like we do now with the, the whole food the plant-based diet too. It was it, it, that way that, you know, you'd go to someone's house and they'd bring out the cakes and the, and, and, and the buns and all that for a cup of tea and all that. So, you know, you ate them, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, <clears throat> you thought that, you know, by, by uh, the the medication and, uh, and, you know, a little bit of control there that you had it under control, but uh, that wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. So what happened over the 20 years? Did you get sicker? Did you put more weight on? Did they have to up, up your medication? Yeah. What started to happen to you over the 20 years? Yeah. Yeah, right. So it was, you know, actually it it took um, to, um, I think it was, you know, it slowly got worse. You know, my control wasn't really good. And I think that's most probably uh, a common uh, problem with uh, type 2 diabetics when they first get you know, diagnosed diabetics. They just, you know, yeah, right, it'll be okay. And I, my control was a bit, bit of a mess at at Tom, but I tried, but then, and I went, and it was two, that's 2001, 2008 it was, I, the diabetic educator, you know, you go and do these periodically, you know, go and see, and they, you know, take your, your aqua check, you know, uh, monitoring device in, and they download it, download it on their, on their, their computer, and they can see, when you prick your fingers, they can see how's it been going, they said, you know, and she shook. her said, "Trevor, this ain't good. You know, you you're not you're not really controlling this well, and uh, and it, I can see that you're you know you're 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 peaking, you know, pretty regularly with your uh, um you know, your your measurements on your, your your blood glucose levels." And she said, oh, "I think uh, I'm going to write a letter to your doctor and and, and recommend that uh, you put you on insulin." Oh, so. Whoa. Yeah, so I said, "What? No way!" You know, because I, I had um, my, uh, you know, brother. As I said, family members, and I got one, one, two, three, three of them are on insulin. You know, and uh, we're on insulin, and um, and uh, so I didn't want to go down that track. You know, and I, I was a bit, uh, bit concerned because I knew where that led to. You know, because I, I have a you know uh, one's you know one of my family is uh, has um, you know has had a stroke and he's you know he's in a wheelchair and you know and 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 he's diabetic he's taken uh, um, insulin and my sister's taken insulin now and she's um, not being you know she's you no know, being you know she's on a dialysis machine at the moment and and. Uh, and she's lost both her legs, sort of thing. And so, wow, I, not that that's what, not that 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 just only happened recently. But uh, I, you know, I, I just knew that you know, even at work where I worked, I, the blokes are saying, "Oh, this is not good." You know, you, that, 
no, they they reckon you know it was a slippy slide down, and, and it is. I mean, you and uh, and and it, it's. I suppose it's a a little bit. You know, they you hear this and it. Well, this is it. It's a fait accompli. You know, I'm going down this track, and you know, I think you know, and, and well, what what is it? But I uh, I was a bit concerned about. It. I said, hang on, I'm gonna. I'm not going to go on insulin because I didn't want to really do that, you know. And uh, so I went into the, onto, onto the net and uh, and checked out, you know, diabetes, you know. And I went through and then I, I come across a uh, a book written by Dr. Sandra Cabot uh, and how to reverse uh, diabetes, type two diabetes, and um, and. And she wrote you know, a few other books too. I think one of them had a how to liver cleanse diet and so forth. So I got that book. I bought it. You know, so I was I was out searching. You know, and uh, and I I I followed her her diet, her recommendations to a certain degree. Anyhow, so um, it was it. What what happened after doing that? I I did lose a bit of weight, if a bit like, and I also. Um, uh, I yeah, I lost the I lost the weight and the uh, and my uh, sugar when I was at Reese it, it 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 became it it it, it, it wasn't st- still you know tracking upwards it it actually halted halted the uh, the the uh, my blood glucose level at where it was sort of thing so. And I went to the doctor. He said, "Yeah, well, you can do that. We just, you know, increase your medication, the tablets, and you know, you you can do that. Well, we'll be right, you know." So, so that's where it was. I was pretty happy about that, you know. I, I've had a win here, you know. I've uh, I've stopped the onset of uh, 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 diabetes, and I don't have to go and jab myself with insulin. So I was pretty happy. You know, right. I, I was pretty stoked over that, you know. So good on you, man. Uh, Good on you. Not many people will do that. They'll keep going down yeah. that slippery slope. And, you know, sadly, like what you mentioned with your family members and your sister, like yeah. that's where yeah. it can lead to if we don't get on top of it. Yeah. It's mm. pretty sad. Yes, it is. It is sad, you know, but, uh, you know, the uh, whether that was the cause of her, 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 my sister's problems, but, uh, you know, the, it was there. It's, it was there lurking in the background. But see, that's what I found with the sugar to be because I said that was 2008. My next year, my next uh, next four years, I, it wasn't, you know, I holded it, but... All the other stuff, you know, come come into in, in the in the vogue, you know, like like uh, 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 cholesterol, uh, high blood pressure, you know, uh, and 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 so it was a it was a uh, it, I didn't I halted it, but I didn't stop it, I didn't reverse it, I I it, so it was still there and it was still lurking and and doing it. Dirty work that it does to your body, sugar diabetes, and uh, gosh, diabetes. And uh, I, um, I by 2012, I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and I uh, went to hospital and uh, got a, uh, put a stint in my heart. Wow. So I, I received a stint for 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 the uh, the blockage for blockages, you know. Wow. So that's where well, I was you know, at. So you that's halted it. Like if you go back to Dr. Sandra Cabot's book, what was it that actually you were eating then compared to what you were eating before that actually halted, you know, you going on to insulin, but obviously still was, you know, causing some damage to develop heart disease and, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, you know, yeah, I think I just didn't. You know, I don't know if it, well, I haven't got the book. I've, I've, I've lent it away, or lent it a long time ago. So I don't know what the diet was actually. And, and but I would say this, that just that I didn't. I still ate me mm-hmm. the big, big servings of this and big servings of you know cheese and whatever you know, and still go out and still drink, but and, and still drink beer too. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what do you eat now? Like you've reversed type two diabetes. You've brought your blood pressure down to healthy ranges. You've brought yeah, your yeah. cholesterol down to healthy ranges. What? 
Yeah. How did you do that? And before you answer that, though, at what point did you really say, I want to get rid of this? What year was that and yeah. what was the trigger well, and why did you make well, the changes up to look at a different different routes? Yeah. Right, so that's to, you know I got the st- stint put in, in in 2012, and then and then you know you think that you know I don't know the psychology of the psych- you know, of of a person. You think, oh well, I fixed that up, got rid of that block here, so I'm going to be right. But I I wasn't, you know, you know as as I'm saying the the it it didn't it didn't fix anything. I still I still do on a slippery slide, you know, because. Uh, my sugar diabetes was still there. The my diabetes, my blood, my blood pressure was there, but being controlled by medication. My, you know, and and I was on beta blockers, blood and and, and tablets for sugar diabetes. So I I just um, I just kept on going down that track, and uh, uh, and I was working at that time, and uh, it was 2014, and I I got pretty sick. You know, as, as 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 you know, my my health was failing rapidly, and uh, I was um, and I had twelve months off work trying to get myself right, and uh, and the employer more or less said they retired me on ill ill health, so I I left left my job. I didn't want to leave my job, but I left my job. And I retired on ill health, so that's where I was. So How old were you then? I'm, I'm, How old were you then, Trevor? Well, I'm I'm that's. Uh, I'm 66 now, yeah, 60, 66. You're 66 uh, then. I was then, I was 66, yeah, so uh, that's when I retired in 66, yeah, April so 66, in 2014, I think it was, yeah. Um, what was it then? Uh, so, yeah, so I was just, de- you know, it was just, uh, you know, I was looking down the barrel of, you know, longevity of my life is, uh, you know, you know, I had to leave me when I was sick. I had to leave my job and, you know, retired early, well, so-called early to my, well, I didn't want to leave, but but some people think at that time I left in here at 66. But the, um, I, uh, yeah, I just looked down, I was looking down, the, you know, as I said, the barrel of, of you know, I don't know where I was going to go, you know, where was where I was going to uh, finish up, you know. But um, so That started to worry yeah. you that you were... Getting sick, it might be coming to the end of your days. Is that what made you want to yeah, yeah. look for answers? Yeah, yeah, it did. You know, it did. I yeah, it did. You know, and um, I said, "There's got to be something better than this." And I was trying to do all sorts of things, trying to do myself, you know, um, with a bit of exercise and plus with you know uh, meditation and so forth like that, and trying to correct myself that way. And uh, but but. Lo and behold, it's uh, it. Uh, I went up, and it, I was up at a. Uh, you know, I think you know about this one, Adam, because you're 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 the instigator. You're the cause of all this, and uh, the um, I was uh, up at a at Byron and at a uh, at a, a retreat for a week's retreat, and luckily you were the you were the chef that was uh, supplying the food, and, uh, and you came along and told us all about the. The food and how what this does and what that does and uh, yeah so that was a oh. a, um, you know, a real hot you know that so was that, that was little, a changing thing that that, yeah. that little talk I gave about the food every time I serve a meal I gave a little talk I remember now so those little yeah. talks was enough to trigger you to go oh maybe I could do something here yeah well you, you, you I, with your little talks, I mean, you, you told what food it is, and, and then go through it and explain it all, and yeah. and and you and you spoke about, you know, oils and you know that you didn't cook with oils and oils, you know, and and just, just everything you were saying, you know, gelled with me, and uh, you know, and you told your story, you know, uh, how you lost, uh, uh, you know. Like thirty kgs and, and and all for medication and you know you had it you suffered a heart attack and an iron man so you know this this you know like this you know uh, you know uh, made me think about it a bit and I I drove home that you know after that retreat and I was driving along and I say you know you know there's nothing to lose here you know I got nothing to lose you know I, I, only only all to gain you know just to me me health and me 
you know, maybe I might lose a bit of weight, and you know, that, you know, that's the only thing. And uh, and uh, and uh, and I get great, gain my health. And uh, so as soon as I got home, that was in that was in uh, December two thousand seventeen. Yeah, December two thousand and seventeen. So that's a year and a quarter. <laughs> So, yeah, like, um, so that's 12, 16 months ago you started eating yeah. this way. Um, so you started eating a whole food plant-based diet and we'll go into that in a bit. I want yeah. to hear, you know, um, how you eat and what you eat now on a daily basis. But how long did it take after switching to a whole food plant-based diet did it take for you to be a, no longer a diabetic when your doctor said you're no longer type 2 diabetic? How long did it take? Yeah, well, it, it um, that was a when uh, when you uh, when I went on to the the diet, and I think it was something like, you know, I I was uh, fortunate enough that I had my own blood pressure machine, and I had my own, uh, you know, I was I, I was monitoring my own uh, uh, diet, my blood my uh, uh, blood glucose levels. Because I was type two diabetic, and uh, what 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 happened is is that I, I was you know you know with all the the um, um, with, with your diet, it's going to do this, it's going to do that, and all that. And I took me bloods. I went to the doctor and uh, and 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 got him to explain to him what I was doing. I was going on a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, right, uh, yeah, right. You know, and uh, <laughs> and he. <laughs> and I uh, said, so, but I want to do all these bloods. All right, I'll do that for you. Right? So he done all the bloods and we got them all back and that's okay. And, I was, and uh, so that was, you know, and I think it was a week, you know, because I was monitoring, I was fa- fairly heavily on the, on the monitoring this stuff. And then I said, hey, you know, this, now, mind you, I'm, you know, realise that I'm on drugs still. I'm on blood pressure, sugar diabetes drugs. And, and I'm, I'm watching, and I'm, I'm getting up. No, no, my blood, pre- my blood pressure is dropping. You know, and I, you know, that's good. You know, you know, and then me, I was looking at. I had this other thing. I had two things happening. I was measuring, monitoring me blood glucose. Or I was mon- monitoring me blood pressure, and both were dropping. You know, hey, this. I think this might have been a fortnight or something like that. I could see something's happening there. You know, and and, and the weight was dropping too. But the weight was going. I say, hang on. It's not supposed to happen this quick, surely. You know, this is not, you know. So, I was pretty, pretty excited about this, and 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 what, and and just confirmed the uh, because I was monitoring, it confirmed what was happening, and it it actually, you know, made me feel well. Oh, this is unreal. You know, I feel really great about this. You know, this is. I think I'm on a winner here. You know, and uh, uh, so I just kept on doing it, and it just kept on dropping and dropping, and. and uh, and, I, and and unfortunately, it was over the Christmas period, and uh, and my doctor went away for his holidays, and I said, "Hey, I got I got to go and get my doctor to do that." Anyhow, so I kept it going, and I went to see him. I said, "Look, doc, this is this is happening, you know. I, I, my blood pressure is dropping." And he goes, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." And I said, "It's really my I'm measuring." It. He said, "What?" And I said, "This machine at mine's right." And I said, "It's it's measuring, you know." You know, 104 over, you know, 61 or something like that. From you know, we, we used to be 140 or 135 over 80. You know, and you know, so it's dropping. I, you know, I think I need to go. We'll think. He said, before you do that, before we do that, we'll. I'm going to get you tested. I said, I'm going to want you. I want a 24 hours with wear of halter, with blood pressure, and and monitor all me all me um, wide up for. You know, for the uh, cardiac stuff. So, you know, do you, I think he might have been thought, that, you know, I'm saying I'm, I wasn't lying about my blood pressure, and he said, well, it might be something, something wrong with your heart because it's dropping your pressure. Some, so he wanted to monitor it. So I monitored it. The um, the it come back. You know, the the the, the monitoring of the heart, the cardiac stuff, it was, it was all good, and the, the but the blood pressure. It, it over the twenty four hour period, it it averaged 90, 98, I think, over fifty nine, averaged, 
And uh, so, oh, shit, you know, there's something, there's something going on here big time, you know. So, you know, that's when the, that's when the drugs had to come off, you know. And, uh, and uh, so, you know, I was... He reduced your drugs? You, 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 hey. So he reduced, yeah, reduced the, the drugs, drugs and then Did finished halve up. them or take you off them completely? Yeah, he halved, 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 no, halved them because... Mm-hmm. Have them and and they did you know did a bit, but then after ten weeks they were I chopped chopped them right out yeah, yeah. so so you know you, you can imagine you, can you imagine how how excited I was about this and you know I mean this this is unreal you know I, I'm I'm getting well I'm getting better you know I'm losing weight too what a bonus you know and uh, and I'm feeling really good yep and wow. uh, this so, is only early yeah. days but so that was at that was ten weeks. After eating a whole medical. food plant based diet, you ended yes. up being off all medications. And then, when did the doctor officially say to you, You're good, there's no more type 2 diabetes? How long did that take? I was just uh, trying to work it out, but oh, I don't know. Uh, it might have been after six months or something like that, I think. I, I, I forget, you know, it might be, might be four months there, yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so you, th- that's it. So you've been at, at 10 weeks of eating a whole food plant-based diet, no more medications, and it's now you've been doing it for uh, 16 months. I think it's 15 until 15 months, yeah. Yep. yeah. So that's over a year now and your blood sugars are normal, your blood pressure is normal, your cholesterol is low to a healthy range. And you've lost all this yeah. weight. How much weight have you lost? Well, it, since that was, uh, it was, um, uh, I think it's twelve or 13, 14 kgs. I can't, I can't be certain. So, since that time, that's all. Yeah. 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 But and, and since since two thousand eight, two thousand, uh, when I said two thousand one, when I was ninety five, well, there's a fair bit there. So yeah. you know, I have lost. Yeah. Wow. But, that's nice. overall, but how does that make you feel? Like you went look, twenty years. As a type two diabetic, and then you just started to eat a whole food plant based diet, and it's gone in 10, 12, 6 months. It's gone, and it hasn't come back. Gone. Yeah. It yeah. hasn't come back. It hasn't come back, and I'm just kicking goals. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> the um, you know, you just imagine how I, I felt. You know, I mean, you know, here, here it was. I, I was looking down the, you know, as I said, the gum barrel of you know um, longevity of life. You know. Another, another five or six years, you know, the because I was I was retired, you know, I was ill, you know, I was a sick puppy, you know, and uh, um, and, and when I when you you know, you you look at it, you know, and, and you say to yourself, you know, the you know, I was going down that now, I'm I'm not I'm not looking at this 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 end period. Actually, where I was looking at, you know, where I'm looking, and you look, you're on a slow, slippery slide, you know. To the inevitable death, you know, and me now, it's just run. I've gone woof like that. I'm not looking that way. It's just changed the whole my whole attitude of life. Uh, it, I'm more energetic. I'm more enthusiastic. I just, you know, I just want to go, 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 man. You know, and uh, the uh, it's a it was a. Unreal, an unreal experience. An unreal experience. I didn't think it was possible. You know, it was true. You know, but but now I, I because I've been in your your, your community of people in the whole food, and I feel good, Bob. You know, I know. I just know that this is this ain't just a a one off. This is just done Trevor's story. I think this is you know it's nearly everybody's story. And when you read and and, and see some of these. Uh, these uh, whole field plant based do- doctors talking over in America. He said it's all over the web. There's thousands and thousands of people, most probably doing the same thing, but it's 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 um, it's a bit slow getting across, isn't it? Yeah, but it's happening. It's you know, because it happened to me. It's happening. It's happened to you. Look at the people yep. in our I Feel Good program. Like you know, we've had a couple yep. of hundred people through there now, and we've had so many people. Improve their health. You know, others have yeah. first type two yeah. diabetes. Others, their blood pressures dropped, their cholesterols dropped. They've lost heaps of weight. You know, one person has lost up to thirty four kilos now. It's just and their energy. It's just their whole life changes. Yeah, and yeah. it's so simple. Now let's go back to what you actually eat. So when you first 
what do you eat now on a daily basis? Let's have a look at that. How do you eat now? What do you yeah. eat? For breakfast, lunch? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, breakfast is uh, usually just mainly uh, a, a bircha, the oats bircha, which you have in your, uh, in your, in your uh, recipes. I have, uh, let's say that's oats and that's got uh, blueberries, uh, you know, a bit of, bit of vanilla, you know, vanilla uh, uh, apples and uh, what else, a bit of body, um, um, cinnamon and um, uh, flaxseed, you know, grind up flaxseed and, uh, and it's a, it's a beautiful meat. I love my, I, I just look, you know, it's funny, you know, it's just, so, it's just amazing how you, you go to bed at night and, oh, I've prepared that, you know, you, you, you're actually going to be like, oh, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have my breakfast, you know, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, you know, it's so, it's so great, you know, it's a, and, I, and I know what it's done. So that's me. And then, then, then lunchtime is usually, you know, either, you know, uh, you know, 80% of the time is it's it's a salad, you know, and I just make this salad and I just chop up all the all the, the salads, you know, um, the the leafy green stuff, the uh, the salad mix you buy at Woolworths, you know, and put a big handfuls of that, bit of bit of cos lettuce and a and carrot, cucumber, you know, I even chop up a bit of beetroot, you know, raw beetroot, onion. Um, uh, I put um, uh, uh, the uh, uh, four uh, bean mixes, you know, beans and 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 chickpeas. I boil my own chickpeas up, boil some beans up too, and then I put all them in to get a bit of protein in, and then I make a dressing out of uh, avocado and uh, with le- lemon juice, and and just mix it up and mix it all up. And it's, I've got a big, a, a fairly big bowl, you know, of just pick, you know get into it because I'm only doing it for myself. And uh, so yeah, that night, and I just love eating that too. It's just a, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, you know, experience. You know, it's it's just a, it's. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then then the, uh, the the tea time, or is or as 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 per your recipes, and you know, it's either the spicy lentil soups or. Uh, uh, minestrone soup, uh, ma- ma- massaman curries, and, and and so forth like that, and it's all you know. So yeah, I become a bit of a had to had to learn how to cook and and so forth, and uh, oh, it's been a, a wonderful experience. Yeah, yeah. and um, you know, you you look at it and you, you say, you know, we've done this. If you've reversed type B, you know, and you've lowered your blood pressure and you clean your you've cleaned out all your your arteries, the blood flow is flowing everywhere. See, this is this is where the you know this clean this stuff you know like those those doctors over like uh, Neil Burner, uh, Barnard and so forth. They put those those YouTube's and they t- show you the the clogging of the arteries and what they you know and they got those pictures of before and after them and they're all clean. I just know that mine are clean, you know, and because <clears throat> you know it's it's the it's the it's the cognitive ability, me, 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 me thinking, you know, thinking because I was, you know, you know, it's like a, a foggy brain sort of thing, and then it's just all clear, you know, and, and you can, you know, everything's, you know, it's everything's bright and rosy now, you know, sort of thing, and and the, uh, the, uh, you know, and I know that, you know, that blood flows everywhere, even you know, doc, you know, would say, you know, you know, used to. Think about you know I used to have cold feet you know in, in at night you know sort of thing I don't I don't have cold feet you know it's the blood's circulating everywhere you know it's she's she's flowing man you know you you know that this stuff heals you you know and, and, and it makes you healthier what 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 it all, what we there's there's an unknown quantity here and that is you don't know what was lurking in your body and you know that that was going to raise its head. In two years' time, three years' time, you know, you know, in, in two years' time, I could cancer or something like that will come home. But you know, you just don't know. You know what I mean? So you'll never know. You'll never know because you'll go through life now. I'll go through life now and hopefully live your life. And, and I'll, I don't know, just die from normal, normal old age. But 
I could have been heading down the road for something else too, you know, because I wasn't on a good diet. I was not healthy. So why not? You know, it could be, it's, it's reason, reasonable to expect that something else would happen. Yeah. So what, you know, what were the challenges that you found in switching to eating this way? Because it's a very different way of eating than we're normally used to. Like some people go, well, that's all rabbit food. But it doesn't have to be. Um, but it is all plants. So, yes, <laughs> it's sort of rabbit food. But that's the food that makes us healthy. So what were, did you find any challenges? Did you find it any um, hard at times to eat this way? And now that you, if you did, how did you overcome those? Yeah, well, I didn't really find it hard to eat this way because the food, you know, surprisingly, is is beautiful. You know, I, I, especially the recipes and what we put into it. And then I, you know, it's just, uh, it's all good tucker. You know, and uh, and the only, you know, downside is, is you know, you when you go out or you know, socialising people's places and things like that. Well, you know, you you're you're one you're the one out 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 of out of the uh, out of the uh, the, uh, the plan for the diet for the night or for the food for the night. So, you know, barbecues and so forth like that. So you had to, there was a challenge there to get yourself, you know, organised in in that regard, you know, to make sure you catered for yourself and uh, or had, had a meal before you went or, 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 you know, just went to a, to a restaurant and, you know, with everybody else. I didn't, I didn't exclude myself and, uh, and uh, so it was, you know, it, that was the only thing, and but so then, how did yeah. you overcome that? How uh, did you change? How did you? What do you do now when you go out to make sure that you still are okay eating and everybody else is happy? Do you do? What do you do? Yeah, I, I just usually go up and say, "What do you got?" Then I have a look at the rest, you know, the uh, the menu, and I so, I, I, and I, I I put a, a request into the to the chef, and I don't want this, 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 or that, and, and I usually get get I you know they they. Uh, they look after you, so uh, mm. everywhere I went. But I don't go out a lot to to restaurants. But when I do, that's what that, that's what happens. Yeah. What about when you go to friends' places now and they bring out all the cakes and stuff? <laughs> no, I just say no, no, thank you. I just know it. They, look, it, after a while, they 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 know now. You know, it's not. not you know, you and they can see the so change. They, I bet they're not going to argue with you now when they see how healthy you are. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's 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 right. They they do they do see the change, and I and uh, and I've been as I said, I left work, and uh, and we have a few retirement days, you know. Now once you know, with blokes get together and we all get together, and I go along, and they all say, "Gee, what are you done? You know, what's happening? You know, what are you, you know, what are you eating?" I just I just tell them, you know, so. Mm. And uh, yeah, so uh, you know, so that's that's where it's at. So, do you still drink it's alcohol? A bit of an example for them, but uh, no, I don't. No, no. Well, I, I, you know, I, I would say, yeah, I went twelve months without drinking alcohol, and I think it was only a couple of months ago I had a, a couple of beers with my son. That's all, and uh, and and yeah, I, I, I. I and it doesn't take your mind when you drink it. You know, it it, it, it actually is a good thing to drink drink it because then you you know, you know the, the body tells you, uh uh-uh, uh, what are you done to me? What are you done to me? You know, or, mm. you know, and, and and you and you feel it. So mm. it doesn't it it, it it's uh, so that's why I say it's a good thing because it reminds you. Yeah, it's yeah. Still good for you. It's amazing how yeah. your body becomes in tune with what. Is good for it and what's not, and you can listen to it <laughs> when you start to eat yeah, this intuitively. True. Yeah. Yes, that's Have you found true. That? And, uh, that's yeah, that's right. I, I think that's that's your, your awareness, or you you become more conscious of it. And your body is letting you know. And uh, you know the uh, it, it's just a it, it's just another one of those amazing things. You know that that you know you're Intuition, uh, uh, you know, expands. If you want, one of a, of a word, and uh, and and it's just a, it's a good thing, you know. I mean, it's just, uh, and that that's what I, I feel that's happening, and 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 that's where the I'm feeling healthy, I'm feeling enthused, I'm feeling energetic, 
and I want to do some, you know, when you feel that way, you know, I, and I, as a, you know, I've started to do a bit of, bit of exercise too, you know, trying to, you know, I'm doing weights and, and things, which I, you know, Mate, you know seven year old with which wouldn't have been enough. Yeah, yeah, nearly. No, I haven't really worked on that, but I've been building the muscle. I got, as I said before, I got muscle where I never, I, I had when I was 19 years of age, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Trevor, yeah, that must so, be uh, to feel this good at 70 years old. Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's interesting. I, I, you don't even think that. You know, you don't think 70 years age. You're, no. not even, you're not even in that zone. You're not there. You're not at 70. You, 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 you know, you're, you're, you're just natural, you know. Not, where not, are you? Where, where you, I don't know what where, if you were to say where you are in oh. mind health-wise, where would you say, age-wise? Uh, uh, health-wise and age-wise, I suppose, are two different things. But I, if I could, if I reflect back on my, how I felt, you know, when I was 60 and, you know, and how crook I was and, you know, well, you know, health-wise, it's just out, 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 of, out, of the, out of the ballpark, really. You know, the, um, you, I couldn't put an age on it. But, but at that time, I was 50. Well, as I said, it was 52 and I was di- diabetes and I was overweight. So you'd have to say that I'm even better than 52, but that would be a ridiculous thing to say. But, uh, but, but I was sick then. So if you, if you measure as a measure your wellness factor, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of years in there. Mm. You know, of being unwell. Now I'm well, so I'm actually rejigged the time clock and put myself back to there, sort of thing, you know? Yeah, so I'm pretty pretty stoked about that. How old do you feel in your head? I don't know. You're probably trying to pin me down away and say, I I know I'm not 70, you know, and uh, I uh, maybe 60, you know, something like that, you know. I'll, 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 I'll. I'll be conservative, yeah. I won't go to the ridiculous. <laughs> but it does. Say I'm the way your body, your body um, um, physiology changes and you do get this, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a measurement that they can measure your, um, you know, the health of your body and the age that it would be. Um, when oh, you're yeah. healthy, it can be like you could be... 40, but really be 70, you know, from a body point of view and a health point of view. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they also can measure it, say, okay, well, you are 50, but you actually got a body and a health of a 30-year-old. So it would be really interesting to actually try and find yeah. that the name of what that measurement is, that test is, to see um, and then go get it done to see where you are. On the um, scale, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, seventy, yeah. but I've got a body of a thirty-year-old. <laughs> it's like, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, there are some limitations. What can yep. you do now in your life that you couldn't do before, mate? Oh well, uh, well, I I can do. Body presses, you know, push-ups. Uh, I can do, I, I can do weights. Uh, I can, uh, I, I'm, I'm more agile. I'm more, I'm more sprightly. Uh, I, uh, and, and what I can do now is I can, you know, my, as I said a bit uh, before about the clear thinking or the, my, my, you know, it's just, you know, it, you know, I'm not tired. I'm not, you know, uh, um, you know, after after you have used to you know, when you got type two diabetes, after have a meal, you know, you know, feel a bit oh, I've got to go and lay down, sort of thing, you know. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm just yeah, I'm just alive now. How does that make you feel, mate? Yeah, it, it's it's just a uh, yeah. I'm just you know, it's it's just really good and uh, uh, more than good, you know. It's, you know, the uh, you feel this. Exuberance for for life, and and, and you and you're looking at you know as I said before, I was looking down this, this down a slope, you know, but now I'm not. I'm looking so I'm, I, I, I've I've in, widened my horizons and, and looking at things, you know, and I and I'm reading other books and looking and ex, exploring other other things like uh, uh, 
uh, insight and awareness and, and consciousness and, and so forth, you know, all that sort of stuff and, 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 and trying to uh, resolve and, and, and evolve in, in, in this lifetime. Wow. So it's more, it's turned into like you've got this spiritual type of aspect to you now. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It, it, it is. And, I, and, and when you, it's, it's, it's like, um, like when you're eating this way, you know, the, the food that we're eating and, and especially if it's, you know, I think, um, you know, organic food, you know, and, and, and there, there's, there's this, this feeling of, you know, you, when you, the, the, whoever grows it, you can feel it, that, that it's, it's grown, it's not been you know, hit, hit, hit with pesticides and herbicides and so forth. It's clean, it's coming to you, you know, coming to your house. And it's it's good healthy thing. It's it, it, food, and then you prepare it. I have to prepare me food, and I pair it with you know with 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 love. If you if it's for a wonderful word, you know that this is going to be this is going to be good, you know. And so it's all all along the chain of, of from from tilling the soil to to growing it and to 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 preparing it. So it's 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 pretty good to be able to grow some of your own food, um, and uh, and then you you prepare it and then you eat it and then you when you're eating it, you can actually you know feel the goodness of it. You know you can you feel it's be- it tastes beautiful. It's 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 good tucker, and it's like you know when you saw you know so it's like it's you can feel this goodness going to every cell of your body. You know and 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 it makes you feel good. You know and and. So that's the that's the essence of it all, and it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a, a beautiful you know, I, 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 and and in the gratitude that you 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 think about it all, you know, this is all being surprised for you know this food. It's a beautiful food, and the blokes that grew it, or the the, the, the people that grew it, you know, and 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 looked after it, didn't bloody poison it, and and then I've got I'm eating things so. It's a lot of you know gratitude for that, and uh, and yeah, I just, I just look forward to me meals. You, sorry, I look forward to me meals now. Yeah, mm. I, well, I always did, but no, but I, I I just know that this is good. You know, you know, well, it's proved. Isn't it? I I I've got the I got the results. You know, so it's no it's a no brainer. You know, it's a no brainer. Right? How could I go back and say you know eat crap again? You know, I mean uh, processed foods and and all that, you know. See, that's the that's the that's what we were mainly all eating. We all eating a lot of, you know, all the all the processed stuff and the takeaways and so forth. And that's not good for you. No, I mean, I like what you just described that journey of the journey of food. You know, that's the yoga of food. That's the, having that intention oh, yeah. and acknowledging and being grateful for all those steps, right to the point where you're even starting to eat it and eating it. Having that gratitude of love yeah. amounts that that changes the vibration of everything. You know, it becomes a meditative process. Eating, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and, 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 and it's not. It's a. It's actually when you eat, you actually because you are uh, conscious of it. You're eating. You're chewing. And you don't, you know, like we in our, in our society day, and just chop, chop, don't eat it. You actually slow down, and you actually, most probably, I haven't done the looked at the science of it. I could imagine that the saliva glands are working properly, and it's going into the food. It's it's blending in rightly. You're chewing it too rightly, and therefore you're delivering it to your stomach, and then the other. You know, the gastric juices join in with your, you know, and and the food is in in a in a consistency that's that's you know chopped up, you know, you've you've eaten it properly and and and, and you were consciously eating that, and you can you can you can you know, and you and and it, it, and you can't help but say, mm, this is nice, I love this, I can oh, I feel that, you know, I can taste that, I can taste this, yeah, that's good, you know, and and it's 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 all happening, you know, it's mm-hmm. a, it's a it's a beautiful experience, and 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 and, and it's a, uh, you know, I, and and that's part of the, the the health, I think, you know, that you've you've put this food. It's good food, 
it's well prepared food, it's with love. You've presented it in a in a in a in a in a way to your stomach that allows your stomach to be able to to dr- take out the nutrients and so forth, and then out she goes, man. And uh, and 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 that's the other thing uh, with, with this uh, with this uh, the the raw food plant based diet is is that the the the, the throughput. You know, I mean, it, it, it increases. Like, you know, if you eat eating meat, like I used to do, you know, if you eat eating meat, it, it, it bogs down and, you know, in, in your intestinal tract and go, you know, before you eliminate it, you know. And 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 I did some reading about uh, uh, cholesterol reabsorption. I don't know if you know that, that when, when, because there's always cholesterol that goes in and in your, in your tract and if it's slowing down, the, the cholesterol in, the, in your that you're supposed to be eliminating, you know, it, it reabsorbs in reabsorbs, and so you're getting, you know, you get the bloody double dose of the cholesterol sort of thing. So, so it's all there's a it's a no brainer. It's logical. It's it, it's it, it it's a uh, it's wonderful. I feel yeah, it makes it makes you feel good about it all. Yep. Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I it's feel true. Good. I mean, you eat more fiber. Like, there's no fiber in meat. It takes a long time to go through the system. Whereas plants are yep. full of fibre and, Nate, how good are your poos when you eat fibre? <laughs> like it, your elimination is enjoyable and pleasurable. There's no constipation. It's like it's easy flow. Yeah, yeah. It's just comfortable, you know, and it's one of the benefits of eating this way. And all that fibre, you know, massages the inside walls of your, um, of your bowel and makes it all healthy. It's just incredible stuff. So, Trevor, um, yeah. you mentioned there that, you know, organics. Obviously, you're eating organics and that's the ultimate. Um, but if you couldn't get organics, would you eat non-organic food, vegetables? Yeah, yeah. well, you have to, you know, you, you, you know, you sometimes you can't find, find, find the organic stuff. So I, I do, do uh, shop at, you know, Woolworths and Coles and I still buy Mm. Buy the, uh, the the produce there, and uh, yeah. but I make sure I wash it, you know, properly, and you know, and uh, it's yeah, you, you, we still got to, you know, we it, we can't source it everywhere. It's not there. It's not actually. If I don't think we'd be able to, you know, if everybody was started eating organics, I don't think the, the organic industry would be able to source uh, supplies or yeah, so, well, well, yeah, the, but uh, the, the plant based doctors have done the studies on them and organic is obviously the ultimate. That's the best food to eat. But if you have these diseases like type 2 diabetes or heart disease or um, high cholesterols and high blood pressure and you're obese and you've got autoimmune diseases, just eating plants, even though they've been commercially grown, a little herbicide and pesticide, you give them a good wash, the plants still do better, you still can reverse these diseases and prevent these diseases just by eating commercially grown produce. Yeah. Because it's not yeah, the thing yeah. that's causing yeah. the problem. The thing that's actually causing the problem is the meat and the dairy and all the animal products and the processed foods. Yeah. So when you take those away yeah. and you just eat plants, your body heals. But it's a spectrum. Not everyone can get organic produce. So if you can't get it, you just can buy yeah. Just commercially grown produce, and you'll still get all these benefits yep. that you're describing. But if you can get the organic, yep. that's the perfect thing. You know, that's the that's the goal. Get organic produce, and you well, know, that's the ultimate. And the ultimate is organic, homegrown. <laughs> yeah. That, well, you know where your food's coming. Yeah. From. Well, that's. Well, as I said, you know, I, I, it wasn't a hundred percent organic. You know, so you know, I was eating. You know, like the rolled oats. Well, you know, I'm buying that and. And 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 in the in the veggies, we haven't got any growing at the at the time. And at your, in your own garden, you've got to go outside and buy it. You yeah. know, but but it proves the point that that the magic of this happens. You know, this still happens. You know, no matter what, as you just said. You know, so you know, so if you eat this whole food plant based diet, you know, it's going to happen wherever you you source it from. But uh, but try your best to do that. You know, and uh, so. You know, 
you know, it, it's it's just a, such a wonderful journey that I've I've gone on. Is it's a it, it, you know as I, as I say, it's a magical journey. You know, it's just you know I, I was eating this food and. And, and all of these, these, all these things are dropping, and you know, so it, it was like it was just like magic. You know, the magic is happening. And, you know, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience to, to have, and and to, and to think that you, you know, your longevity, you've you, you've defied a few things. You know, that you're gonna you're gonna live a bit longer. Yeah. But well, uh, even, you know, um, even if you die when well, you gonna, die, you're still gonna have a better quality of life now. That, that's what I was just going to say. At least my, where, where it might make me, me, my, my finality might be the same, but my my quality of life to there that because you know with sugar di- type two diabetes, you know it's it's a it's a it's a rotten thing. You know it uh, it does all. You know as I said, you know it you know it, it stops all the you know the blood flow too and in the nerves and you know it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a hellish thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it's all gone. It's, it's all gone. gone. How good's that? It's How so good's good that, mate? <laughs> I'm so <laughs> happy for you, brother. Like, you know, to see yeah. you um, go from me, you know, seeing you out of that retreat, yeah. Byron, where I was catering for, and then yeah. to see you now, and we've met up a few times, and it's chalk and cheese. I'm going to post a, p- a picture of you beforehand so people can see what you used to look like because it's a yeah. bloody big yeah. difference. And your energy and the yeah. health and your enthusiasm for life, man, I'm so happy for you. And I want to thank you for giving this way of eating a good go and proving not only to yourself but the world that you know plants heal. Plants can heal. They sure do. Yeah, you, you know, and you, you could go as far as saying, and you know, I in today, you know, yeah, the people, the, the, the um, type two died. Diabetes is epi- you know epidemic in in the world today, and and the, it really I don't think that doesn't es- doesn't have to be. You can reverse it. Simple. Yeah. In, it, it you know in eight eight weeks or six weeks you know you, you know I, you know many people have proved it. Yeah. And and Absolutely. why isn't that why isn't that out there? Why aren't people being told this? You know and uh, but you know. Well, yeah, it's a, you're sharing it's it wonderful. today, mate. You're sharing it. It's going to get, go yeah. to a lot of people, this little chat. So I really appreciate you sharing your story yeah. because it will inspire somebody that is in a position that's got type 2 diabetes to go, well, wow, Trevor's done it. Heaps of other people have done it. You know, maybe I could give it a go too. And I want that life yeah. that Trevor's got. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you, you know, that's, it's, you know, that's, that's all you've got to say to yourself. It's worth a go. Give it a go, you know, and you'll be surprised. I mean, I mean, you'll be blow your mind. It, well, it did mine, you know. I said, "Hey, this is unreal. This is un- this is this is all happening. Yeah. It's happening, man. You know, it's ha- <laughs> it's ha- it has happened, and I and I it, it has. You know, as I said, it's fifteen months or sixteen months. It's not finished yet. No. It's not fin- no. It's still, you know. I think I'm, I'm still getting better, you know, all the time, you know. So. Uh, well, the more so, you eat, um, the, way, the healthier you get, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, and uh, it's a it's a good thing, you know. I mean, yeah, wonderful, thank wonderful. And thank you, you know, you you thank thank you, Adam, for uh, what you in your your program in your your I feel good program because it wasn't for that and you coming out and talking to people about it too, and uh, you know, and and, and uh, it's it's changed my life, and I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah, really good. I appreciate yeah. you giving it a good go and getting these results yeah. for yourself and, you know, living this ha- happy, healthy life that you've got now and the energy and enthusiasm you have is amazing. Before we wrap up, what are three yeah. things, if somebody was wanted to start going down this path, what are three tips you would give them to get them on their road to eating this way? Well... To, to give them to, to start eating this way, or to to uh, to convince them, you know, well, whatever or, you, you know. think's right. What are three things you would yeah. say to somebody to get them started eating this way? Yeah, you know, when I when I look back on myself and 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 and, and what did it really for me, you know, I had that, you know, yeah, I was in a bad way, but what really, you know, motivated me 
this is this is I was I was I had the 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 benefit of of monitoring my, myself. You know, I could actually day to day, you know, you know, sugar diabetes you can, but I had the blood pressure thing, and when I knew that blood pressure because that that was a uh, an unreal thing, you know. I could see that dropping and dropping and dropping until the point. So that inspires you, you know. Hey, mm-hmm. this is working, you know. Mm-hmm. So you didn't have to wait six, four months, five months for your next lot of bloods, or you, you know, or you go to the doctor in in, in three months' time, you know. It, yeah. It, it 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 it's an advantage to be able to see it happening day by day because you know because that's that's. That's one thing I, I, I would, you know, I've got a, you know, I've got, I've got a, uh, uh, you know, from the mob that, that make the, for the, your, your uh, blood, you know, the, for the sugar, for the diabetes, you know, they've got a thing that you can pluck your, a graph out, you know, and, uh, mm. and, uh, and I, yeah, I've got one here, but, but you won't be able to see it because it's back to front, so. It's it's just got a graph and it shows you where I go all along the line there, you know, sort of thing. It's really low, so and that was another thing. But but that was that's not necessarily. But but that just it just helped me, you know. If that it was a helping, you know, thing, and, and that, that was good because you put it on your computer and download your stuff and then just you know, oh yeah yeah I can see that, you know. And I learned so much. I know all about this, you know, the uh, the sugar. I was. It was hap- it was happening, and at night, I would go to bed at night, and I'd wake up at at say three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. You know, wake up, oh, I don't know. get up, do whatever you want to do, and then get back to bed and go to sleep again. And one morning, I decided I, I'm going to measure my blood uh, me, me, my blood sugar, and it was three point four, which is. <laughs> And it, which is unreal, you know. I, I know I was waking up, and see, this is this is the magic of this body of uh, we, we all possess today. You know, it's just a, it it was waking me up because my blood sugar was too low. Because what was happening? This diet was really, you know, uh, 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 was really working, and uh, and uh, I was so uh, so. It's just a wonderful, wonderful bit of you know. Yeah. So one of the best things you've know, because- done is to measure it. Go get yeah. yourself one of those blood pressure med- measures. If you've got type two diabetes, you would have already had a pricker. So you can um, you can start seeing this on a daily basis, and that motivates you, which is what you did. Yeah, that motivates you. Yeah. Yeah. What other yeah. tip would you give somebody? Yeah. The um, just um, oh, I would say uh, yeah, do the. Uh, you know, with your with your your program, when we do movements and and, and pause, you know, uh, that's a that's a you know, it's like meditation again. You know, the pause is meditation. The movement is do a bit of exercise and and get everything working. You know, and 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 that helps helps with you. So that's that's a tip. You know, to do, to do pause and and and, and, and movement. Um, you know, and you know the whole the whole lot changes. You know, make I. I I my my time I get up early in the morning now. I said, you know, I'm looking forward to the day. I'm looking forward to my breakfast, you know, sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I just I was, I'm just trying to pick up another tip. But uh, how would you get them to start eating? How would I get them to start? Well, I think you've got to be motivated to eat it. You know, you got to you got to have a reason. You're doing it for for a reason, and 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 everybody has different reasons. You know, some might be for weight, some for sugar diabetes, some for you know uh, blood pressure or whatever other other ailments they have. And and it's pretty the, the spectrum's pretty wide. How effective eating this way does on other other diseases. And um, uh, so I would just you know. It's it, the the tip would you know to tell what I'd say to them you know is just well, well this is what I done this is what this is this is how it is done to me this is what's done to me this is how I feel don't you want to it you know it becomes a bit of a no brainer but but that's that's the only thing I'd, I'd like to you know that I do to, you know well actually I don't do anything I just I just be me and they come up and say hey Trevor what the bloody hell are you doing you know. You know, and 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 I tell them, you know, and uh, results and, are in the proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can see it. Yeah, 
So they're really good tips. So the three things that you would um, give people advice on to help them stay motivated to eat this way is number one, measure. Measure your progress. Measure, yeah. Number two is to move your body and do some pausing, a bit of meditation and do a bit of exercise. Yep. And number three is to find your why. Why do you want to make this change? What yeah. will it give you in your life if you were to change? What is yeah. the pain that is causing you now and why do you want to get out of that? And get those whys and then what you're basically saying, then the eating becomes easy. <laughs> e- eating is a enjoyable part of it all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And the preparation of it too. Yeah. It's all good. It's all great. Yeah, yeah. You know? You're looking super healthy there, mate. Super, yeah. super healthy. Yeah, thanks, Adam, you know, and thanks again for what you've done, you know, because it wasn't you putting it, putting it out there and letting us know and uh, and making it, you know, because it was all there, but uh, we haven't been, you know, it's not, not, uh, it's not very openly known, you know, and I think, uh, I think that's only because they don't want you to know. They don't want you to get healthy. They don't want uh, big farmers still has got a bit of investment in here. They, they, I, I'm, 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 he's not getting anything out of me, you know. <laughs> so, so, so I've saved a bit of money. It saves money. <laughs> well, it does save okay. money, doesn't it? It's cheaper. Yeah, to eat. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Yeah. Well, yeah, mate, it's, it's good so. to see you looking well. It's good to see you healthy. It's good to see your energy. Mate, um, yep. I'm stoked for you and I'm really happy that, you know, eating this way has benefited you just like it has for many of us. So um, yep. thanks for taking the sure time that. today and sharing your story. Yep. I'm sure it's going to motivate and inspire a lot of people to, you know, give this a right. go. And that, that will be good. That would be good. That would be good because it's well, well worth it, you know, well, well. The priest in the pudding, yeah, it's well worth it. I, I can't stress that em- en- enough, you know, if you want to have a, you know, and as I said before, you know, if you don't, you know, if you're, you know, I'm 70, but if you, like yourself, are 50 or 30, I just don't know, you know, if you're doing this, you don't, you don't need to have the uh, the incentive of I've got, you know, I'm a, you know, I've got, uh, uh, you know, blood pressure or I've had a heart attack or something. Chop it. Get get into it because because that is it. I suppose if you looked at the statistics out there, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I, I suppose you know. You know, they, they look upon people. You know, how many percentage of people have sugar diabetes? How, how many people have you know heart attacks? How many people have clogged arteries and, and heart disease? There are, and it all start. It, and and, and it, it, my clogged arteries didn't start. You know, when I was sixty, it mostly started when I was thirty or twenty. Yeah. See that. You know, that's so a great jump, jump on it. That is a great point that you build up. The younger people in their 30s and 20s and 40s, you know, they don't realise that this typical Australian Western diet that you ate, that I used to eat, that most people in this country eat, are leading us down this path of heart disease, diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And it doesn't show up immediately. It shows up when you get into your 50s and 60s and you go, oh, my God. But... If they took your advice, somebody that is 70 years old and started eating this food now in their 30s, they could prevent these things from happening. Man, kudos yeah. to you, yeah. man. That is so good. Yep. High five. See, mate. Brother. Yep. It's High true. Five, yeah. you know? It's true. If they had the yeah, hindsight. It is true. Yeah. You're in a position where you've got hindsight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I suppose... Yeah, you know, it's it's that's what I'd be, you know, that's when uh, it, it it would uh, be, uh, you know, that, that it just changed their life. I mean, it just changed their life, and, and 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 what a wonderful thing that would be for the family unit. I mean, if you had a, you know, a thirty year old, forty year olds going home, and they and the whole family is going whole food, plant based diet. You know, I mean, the health of that, and and. and 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 what that's going to do to to you know to to the whole society everybody's happy you know if we, if we, if you want to put monetary terms on it you know 
he makes sure he won't take, have a day sick for, <laughs> from work or whatever. You know, I mean, it's all sorts of things, you know, and I, it's, it's just all plus, 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 plus. And, and you're healthy, yep, and it's going to be good. And you're going to have an enjoyable life. Yeah. Instead of being sick, instead of being having those sick days and having, the, you know, being crook and, you know, you know, I just, you know, it, I just know that you, well, as I said to you before about the alcohol thing, you know, I, I drank it, you know, and, and I knew that I, I shouldn't have drank it, you know, and, and, and if, you had, if you were eating a whole food plant-based diet and you were really healthy, you, you'd learn it real quick too. You know, yeah, but, you know that, you. That, that that's your true, body it? body will be rejecting it. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Very good, mate. But you know, eat the plants, and it all gets good. <laughs> that's it for sure. Yeah. Well, mate, thanks again. Really appreciate you taking the time to have a chat, and um, yep. we'll catch up soon. Good on you. Thanks, Adam. Pleasure. Man. See you, mate.